crazy people who hasn't yet had a banana pancake, you're missing out. All you need is three eggs, a banana, and some coconut oil. Crack the eggs, drop in the banana. Add like 10 to 15 grams of coconut oil. And blitz that motherfucker and eat it up. It's bank holiday Friday at Redfit. That means shit is about to get lifted. So guys and girls are into their second week of the Russian squat cycle. So they're just getting warmed up. Things are about to kick off and go down hard. All core, baby. Check out this t-shirt. Squat pinch did lift. This is the old platform. And this is how the new platform is going to look. Except it's going to be like this because it's got orange tape on it, which is badass. He said it really starts to feel like a poverty platform when you look at an X squared deadlift platform here, which is an absolute giant of a thing. Time for cardio with Lizzie. Two more deads and reverse hypers to finish the off. Gains. Zoom in on me! <laughs> so I came out to the airport to do two things. Number one, to give Lizzie a tour of her brand new garden. And number two, so Sarah could pick up her new car. There she is. In about two, maybe three weeks time, this is going to be our new home. Pretty cool, right? So I thought it was all done for today. I was going to go and get this thing cut. But then I decided I had a few hours to spare, so I was going to come up and do a project and rent it. This, these, that, this, and those. Any ideas? Probably fair to say it's not the best cable art ever done, but it's the best cable art I've ever done. And that's enough for today. Next up, I've got to clear off this motherfucker over here and make it all black. And that'll be me done for the day. I have a feeling this is going to be one of those simple, not so simple jobs. And job done. Easy peasy. All black everything. In the commute from the new gap to the gym, it's a massive 15 minutes. Um, you know, that's kind of longer than it was before. Previously, it took like 10 minutes to get from where we lived to the gym. Uh, before the gym moved, we were 200 meters away from the gym. So we're gradually getting further and further away, but at the same time, it's still not the longest commute in the world. And it's a pretty easy drive as well, so no big deal. So what that means is if you live in Coopsburg, in Contra, Glasnevin, uh, Bali Moon or anywhere near the airport, it's still only a 15 minute drive to Redfin, so get there. Now if you're having any hip trouble when you squat, one of the best things you can do is start to reset pelvic and diaphragmatic position by doing 90-90 breathing drills. Uh, whenever Sarah gets home, I'll video myself doing some of the 90-90 breathing drills. So you can see it. Actually, much better idea, I'm just going to video them on the screen of my computer. Tonight's going to be some fillet steak and some parsnip and card chips. These guys are super easy to prepare. I'll tell you how to do it in the next post. All you gotta do is chop them into something that literally resembles a chip shape, throw them into a bowl, flash some olive oil, and then some pepper salt on them. Step one is to dry off the steaks really, really well. So you want them as bone dry as you can get them. Obviously it works better with kitchen towel, but we don't have any. So the reason why you want it so dry is because when it's really dry like this, it'll sear much better once you put it onto the pan. 
then you just throw some uh, rock salt onto it. The next super important step is that you get the pan smoking hot before you toss the steaks on. Then after about a minute you toss them over and you've got this beautiful sear all around which locks in the flavour of the steak. From there you just got to transfer it from the pan into your oven dish. Then you just throw some butter on top, turn your oven right down, like 110, 120 degrees and cook it for 5-10 minutes. By turning it down so low after searing, you get the really crispy outside which is so delicious and you still get the real soft red center which makes the steak so flavorful. After 10 minutes or so, the butter will have melted, the steak should be nice and tender and then you just transfer it to a chopping board. If you get it right, you'll have a perfectly cooked piece of steak. And then you serve your perfectly cooked steak with some parsnips, carrots and sweet potato chips and enjoy it. On that bombshell, I'm gonna eat.